Hey everybody, Home Slice Hunter here, and in today's video, we're going to be showcasing an incredibly powerful pick in the Open Ultra League, XL Shadow Alolan Ninetales. These battles were submitted to the channel by a fellow content creator, Zerfell Rose, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, XL Alolan Ninetales is an Ice and Fairy type Pokemon with the moveset of Powder Snow, Weather Ball, and Dazzling Gleam, and this thing is a force to be reckoned with. Zer pairs it up with a Kofagrigus and a Giratina. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out XL Shadow A9 in action in the Ultra League. Hopping to the first match, picking up an incredibly good lead, Shadow Alolan Ninetales into Pidgeot. And look at the Powder Snow shred through the Pidgeot. A9 is going to fire off the Weather Ball before Pidgeot makes it to a move. Weather Ball gets the shield. This is enough for a Brave Bird. A9 is going to respect it with a shield. Opponent is going to bait with a Feather Dance and send in Cobalion. A9 farming up so much energy and then sending in Giratina. Because odds are, this very well could be Virizion in the back. And if that's the case, once Cobalion is out of the way, this Shadow Alolan Ninetales is about to crush the opponent's remaining Pokemon. Giratina connects with a Shadow Sneak. Cobalion is firing off the non-stab Stone Edges here. Stone Edge is going to land onto the Giratina. Cobalion did have a pretty big energy lead considering A9 farmed up all the energy. So Cobalion should be able to tank this and reach a third Stone Edge. Decision time for Giratina. Giratina is going to expend the final shield just in case it's not that Verizian in the back. Giratina continuing to farm. This should only be a Sacred Sword. Opponent maybe not thinking they were making it to another Stone Edge, so they end up going for the Sacred Sword, and Giratina gets the farm down. Opponent is going to send back in the Pidgeot, but there is so much energy on this Giratina. Giratina able to farm up the two more Dragon Claws. Can Giratina live the wing attack here? Dragon Claw lands, and it does live the wing attack, making it to a third Dragon Claw, and that's going to KO the Pidgeot. In the back, it is Verizian, and Verizian is about to have a terrible day going up against Shadow Alolan Ninetales. Ninetales fires off the Weather Ball, gets the shield, and is now just going to send in the Kofagri. So choosing to play it safe, recognizing that Kofagrigus also has a very nice matchup against Verizian, even if the Verizian is running Leaf Blade. This Verizian does, of course, have access to Leaf Blade. Leaf Blades are adding up onto the Kofagrigus, but Kofagrigus is going to get to return fire here with a Shadow Ball, and this Shadow Ball is going to get the Verizian low into the red. Verizian going for another Leaf Blade here. This Leaf Blade is not going to be enough to KO. Kofagrigus hangs on, makes it to the Shadow Ball. Shadow ball will easily take care of the Verizian, and that is a good game. Moving into the next match, we need Shadow Alola Ninetales into Cresselia. Not a bad matchup, but he does have two stronger answers in the back, so we are going to see a safe switch into Giratina, and the opponent responds with a Steelix, not what Giratina was hoping to see. A Steelix does have a very favorable matchup here. Giratina can fire off these Shadow Sneaks, but unfortunately, Shadow Sneak just does not do a lot of damage to the incredibly bulky Steelix. Steelix able to shrug off double Shadow Sneak, still be above half health, and connect with the Earthquake, getting that Giratina into farm down range. Giratina will reach one final Shadow Sneak here, but unfortunately, again, Steelix does not have to shield this. Steelix will get the farm down. In comes the Shadow Alola Ninetales, and if you're the Ninetales, thanks to being Shadow, your Powder Snows do extra damage. Do you potentially go for the farm down here? I honestly don't think a regular could make the farm down here, but this is one of the benefits of having the Shadow is the extra damage. Steelix goes for Psychic Fangs number two. Ninetales looking for the farm down. Steelix surviving with a sliver of health makes it to Psychic Fangs number three. Ninetales able to tank it, get the farm down, and leave with so much loaded energy. Opponent is going to send in Cresselia. Cresselia will be met with the Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam lands onto Cresselia. In comes the Kofagrigus, and the opponent is not switching out here. We are going to see a shield from the Kofagrigus. Cress goes for the Future Sight. In the back, they have Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is going to be met with a lot of energy here from the Kofagrigus. Shadow Ball is going to get the shield from the Fini, and Fini, unfortunately, does have a lot of play in this endgame. Kofagrigus fires off the Shadow Ball. That that one is going to connect, and now the good thing is Tapu Fini is getting close to being KO'd. Kofagrigus lets it through. It's just going to be the Surf. 
but Tapu Fini has the back to back here. So we are gonna see the final shield being used. This is gonna be a very tough end game to manage. Farming up quite a bit of energy here, gets the farm down and that should win the game. Oh my goodness, Kofagrigus able to hang on. Dark Pulse gets the shield, going for Dark Pulse number two, not wanting to risk a potential Shadow Ball. Dark Pulse gets them low, in comes the Shadow Ninetales. This Weather Ball is gonna KO and against all odds, able to grab the win. Picking up a bit of a tricky lead in the next match, Shadow Alolan Ninetales into Shadow Wall Rain. Ninetales, of course, is running Powder Snow. Powder Snow not gonna do a lot of damage to Wall Rain, and Wall Rain has a lot of play, honestly, against this entire team. Ninetales is farming up and going straight for the Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam able to land and gets the Wall Rain into the red. That is monster damage from the Shadow A9. Unfortunately, A9 did get baited there. A9 farming up and switching to catch onto the Kofagrigus. Is this the Earthquake? Yes, it is. What a beautiful catch. Wall Rain farming up some energy here. Cannot make it to a spear and they get farmed down. Opponent is going to send in their own Giratina. Giratina not going to appreciate the energy from Kofagrigus. Kofagrigus able to force a shield. Gira is going to fire off a move. Gira goes for the Shadow Sneak to ensure the KO. But now Giratina will be met with the Ninetales, but the opponent's switch clock is up and they can send in their Registeel. He's firing off this Weather Ball here, trying to burn the switch clock, able to burn the switch clock, and now Giratina will be aligned onto the Registeel. Registeel, of course, is only going to be able to hit for resisted damage, but Zap Cannon can get an attack drop, and unfortunately, that can flip this matchup. Firing off the Shadow Sneak into the Registeel. Registeel continuing to farm. Reggie going for Zap Cannon number two. Do we see the debuff? Zap Cannon lands. We do see the debuff. That's very unfortunate. Opponent able to take advantage of the slightly desync timers and send in their Giratina. Giratina will be met with the Dragon Claw. Unfortunately, these Dragon Claws are debuffed. They're not doing a lot of damage. Trying to burn the Switch Clock. Able to burn the Switch and send in the Shadow Ninetales. Trying to snipe with the Weather Ball. Weather Ball K. KOs, and oh my goodness, Shadow A9 just hits very hard. A9 now gonna spam out these Weather Balls into the Registeel. Registeel at a charge move here, letting the Ninetales go, trusting in Giratina to finish this fight. Ninetales able to hang on. I did not think it was gonna survive there. Weather Ball gets them low. Reggie gets the farm down, but Giratina can clean up this game, and the opponent resigns the match. Same leads in the next match, Shadow Alolan Ninetales into Shadow Wall Rain. Again, bit of a tough lead for this team. But let's see, does this Wall Rain respect the potential damage from the Gleam? This opponent actually makes a very nice catch, catching the Dazzling Gleam onto Cresselia. Cresselia is going to be met with the Giratina. Giratina, of course, does take super effective damage in return from the Moon Blast, but this way you can save Kofagrigus for handling that wall rain later in the game. They're gonna fire off the Moon Blast here. Moon Blast does hit for super effective damage. Giratina able to tank it. Giratina looking to over farm, not quite able to get the farm down here. They make it to Moon Blast number two, but Giratina able to hang on and get the farm down. And Gira leaves with a loaded move. In comes the wall rain. Wall rain is very tanky, going to be able to absorb this Dragon Claw damage and get the farm down but now wall rain's energy is going up against kofagrigus we see the immediate shield opponent went for the icicle spear they do have a ton of energy and now they have shield advantage as well shadow wall rain firing off another move they're just going straight icicle spear looking to apply pressure onto the kofagrigus kofagrigus going to return fire with the dark pulse and we see the shield from the opponent wall rain continuing to farm icicle spear will be non-lethal here opponent goes for it kofagrigus able to survive in comes the Ninetales, and it's a Machamp in the back, and this is a bit scary. Since it's Powder Snow and not Charm, Machamp has a lot of play versus the Ninetales. Ninetales farming up to the Dazzling Gleam, baiting with the Weather Ball here. Does the opponent commit the shield? Yes, they do. Unfortunately, not going to be able to make it to the Gleam, just going for the Weather Ball. Weather Ball gets the Machamp low. Does Machamp have to throw? They do not, and unfortunately, that will be game over as Machamp makes it to the rock side and KOs Kofagrigus. Hopping into the next match, leading Shadow Alolan Ninetales into Charizard. Now, this is a matchup I was excited to see. Of course, 
Charizard can hit for massive super effective damage with Blast Burn, but the fast move is only neutral. So as long as Ninetales has shields, Ninetales can apply some serious pressure here. After landing one Weather Ball, that Charizard is almost in the red. Opponent does bait with a Dragon Claw. That's very unfortunate for the Ninetales. Ninetales firing back with a Weather Ball and able to grab a shield from the opponent. Ninetales continuing to farm. We see the double shield from the Ninetales. Opponent baits again with a Dragon Claw and is going to send in Cresselia. Cresselia going to be met with the Kofagrigus, but Zare banks a ton of energy on his Ninetales for later. Cress goes for the Moonblast. Kofagrigus tanks it like it's nothing. Kofagrigus farming up and going for the Shadow Ball into the Cresselia. This will do quite a lot of damage onto the bulky Cress. Cress is going to let that through, but Cress is now into the deep red. Cress going for the Moonblast that lands. Let's see. Can Kofagrigus get the farm down? It cannot. So Kofagrigus will fire off the Dark Pulse into the Cresselia here. Cresselia is going to let that through. My guess is we see the third, and we do. It's Trevenant, and Trevenant gets the farm down. That is not great news, but at the same time, the Ninetales is absolutely loaded. In comes the Ninetales. Ninetales going for the Weather Ball here onto the Trevenant. Weather Ball gets the shield. Going for Weather Ball number two onto the Trev. As Trev was not at a Shadow Ball, that lands aggressive switch into the Giratina to absorb this damage. Giratina will be able to tank the Shadow Ball. In comes the Charizard. Charizard forced to fire off energy here, and this will mean that the Zard cannot make it to a move versus the A9. They recognize that, and at this point, they just undercharge, and they basically concede the match. Picking up a great lead in the next match, Shadow Alola Ninetales into Verizian. Honestly, the entire team crushes Verizian. Verizian staying in the lead to start, then get a save switch into Wall Rain. Wall Rain again, a bit of a problem spot for this team, staying in with the Shadow A9, building up energy, going for the Gleam. Gleam does get shielded. A9 farms up a switch and hopefully a catch of an earthquake onto the Kofagrigus, and it is very nicely done. Kovagrig is still not going to be in a range where an Icicle Spear will be lethal, so we will see the immediate no shield here from the coffin. Kofagrigus able to tank that Icicle Spear, farm it up, and going for the Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball is non-lethal, but it will deal some nice chip damage. Kofagrigus is going to be able to land the Shadow Ball, and decision time. We do see a shield being used by the Kofagrigus, trying to keep switch advantage. Kofagrigus farming up, farms a bit too much, and unfortunately, Walrein is able to make it to another Icicle Spear, so we're just going to let that through. And now in comes the Shadow Alola Ninetales, farming up energy. Going for the Weather Ball here. This is heavily resisted. Is this going to be enough to KO? Weather Ball is enough to KO. In the back, the opponent has a Kanto Muck. Muck will be hit with the Weather Ball. And now it's all up to Giratina. Bad news for the opponent is that their Verizian has absolutely nowhere to run versus this team. Muck goes for the Dark Pulse. That lands onto the Giratina. Giratina continuing to farm and firing off the Dragon Claw. These Dragon Claws will do meaningful damage onto the Muck as the Muck has almost been KO. KO'd. Firing off another Dragon Claw here. Decision time for the Muck. Muck is going to let that through. They save the Muck on very low HP, and they're going to send in Verizian. Verizian firing off the Leaf Blade here. Leaf Blade is, of course, going to be resisted. Giratina beginning to spam out these Dragon Claws. My guess is the opponent is going to save the shield for a move from the Ninetales. In comes the Ninetales. Ninetales will commit the shield here as Verizian fires off the Sacred Sword. Ninetales does have quite a bit of energy here. Firing off the first Weather Ball. This is going to be grabbing the shield from the opponent. Ninetales continuing to farm and winning CMP over the Verizian. This Shadow Weather Ball will take care of the bulky Verizian. Farm down the muck and that's game over. Hopping into the final match, seeing Shadow Alolan Ninetales into Shadow Gliscor, the dream lead. Opponent safe switches into Wall Rain, and Wall Rain will immediately be met with the Kofagrigus. Kofagrigus going for the Shadow Ball, wins CMP over the Wall Rain. Shadow Ball able to land, getting the Wall Rain below half health. We see the immediate no shield here from the Kofagrigus. Opponent goes for the Icicle Spear. Kofagrigus can tank another Icicle Spear, but an Earthquake would be trouble. This is enough for the Earthquake. Kofagrigus is going to respect it, and that proves to be a very good decision as the opponent full sent it. Kofagrigus over farming as much as possible and going to fire off the Dark Pulse here. Dark Pulse is going to land as the opponent willing to take their shield advantage. In comes the Shadow Gliscor. Gliscor will be met with the Shadow Ball. This is survivable for the Gliscor. Gliscor commits the shield. Honestly, that's a bit surprising considering they're going to be stuck going up against an Ice-type. 
baiting with the Dark Pulse here. Dark Pulse onto the Gliscor, gets shielded as well. Opponent double shields the Shadow Gliscor, and even if they go for the Shadow Earthquake, Alolan Ninetales can tank this. In comes the Ninetales, unfortunately does get denied with the one turn switch in. Opponent baits with the Night Slash, and that is absolutely tragic for the opponent, as now Ninetales can comfortably commit a shield here. Opponent baits again in the back. Oh no, they have a Dragon Breath Giratina, and the rest of their team will get shredded here. Going for the Shadow Dazzling Gleam, nearly one-shotting a Giratina. That is incredible damage. They go for the Ancient Power, aggressive switch back into the Gliscor after the Giratina gets KO'd. Night Slash is gonna KO, but there's just nothing Gliscor can do here against the Giratina, and that's a good game. All in all, XL Shadow Alola Ninetales looks to be a serious threat in the Open Ultra League. It's definitely an expensive build. Building an XL Shadow Pokemon is not going to be cheap, but it retains a lot of its original bulk while packing a serious punch. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.